Shalom, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us his word. I just want to talk about you know, Yahweh Shai and when he walked the earth. You know, he walked the earth as a man. He came in the flesh. And even unto this day, you still have some people that, you know, have issues with that. Like a while back, we had this person come to the camp and was trying to debate us about, you know, Yahweh Shai being a spirit or whatever that's the thing some of these Christians like to talk about it's him being a spirit but you know the spirit of Jesus Christ or whatever but no Yahweh Shai walked the earth as a man you know he was born of a woman came to the seed of his father came out the womb of his mother you know he was just a flesh and blood man but you know he did have a little bit of, he has his spiritual power but he had to adore as men, he dealt with the same temptations, you know, the fleshly temptations and, and the sin of this world. He, he never sinned, but he had to walk the earth with that, you know, in, in, in the flesh. You know, and this uh, scripture that clearly, you know, gives Yahweh his description, and they never read that, they never read it in church this particular scripture um, it was Revelation 1 and 13 and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the son of man clothed with a garment down to the foot and a girt about the paps with a, gir a golden girdle yeah, the seven candlesticks represent the seven churches you know, a garment down to the foot and you know he had a, a golden girdle wrapped about him we're not saying that you know how should I look like this but this is a an artist depiction based off the scriptures you know, his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow and his eyes were a flame of fire yeah white he had the gray hairs with all the hell that he had to endure and his eyes were red because you know he drank wine and a lot of you know uh, Jake's, you know, when they drink wine, you know, get that bloodshot eyes, you know, he said he was a wine bibber, you know, he drank a lot of wine when he was on the earth, because all the hell he was catching in, in, in the flesh, you know, dealing with these, these Israelites out here, his feet like under fine brass as they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the as the sound of many waters. He has feet like on the fine brass, you know, the color brown, brownish color, as if they burned in a furnace, meaning he was dark skin, you know. It's a dark skin, you know, so called black man. And his voice as the sound of many waters, I meaning he had a very strong, loud, you know, deep voice, you know. I mean, this is very, you know, basic, you know, topic, basic, you know, like that milk. But there's some people out there that can't get it, or they just don't want to get it. They don't want to accept that, you know. Second scripture is uh, Second John, the book of Second John 1 and 7. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Yahweh Shai has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Yeah, a spirit of antichrist and a deceiver. So if anybody comes up to you talking that, that you know, you came in the spirit, man, just, just cut him with this scripture right here. You can't get around this. For many deceivers, you know, have entered into the world who confess not that Yahweh Shai has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and of Antichrist, that spirit of Antichrist. You know, Antichrist is a spirit. You know, like when you wear a cross around your neck, you know, that's the spirit of Antichrist. You don't want to walk around with a cross on your neck. Man, that's the, that was the instrument, the weapon that was used to kill, you know, the Lord and Savior. You know, you know the picture of uh, Jesus Christ, you know, Caesar, Cesare Borgia, Caesar Borgia. That's the spirit of Antichrist. It's not the true image. Uh, next scripture is First John, book of First John, 
4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the Most High. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. You gotta try the spirits, man. Test these spirits out here, man. Make sure they're coming, you know, in truth and in sincerity, you know. Hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is of the Most High. You know, plain and simple. And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is not of the Most High. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Whereof ye whereof ye have heard that it come should come and even now already is in the world so yeah I mean, the Lord came in as a man but you know he was a little lower than the angels he had power you know he was out there performing miracles you know he had the power to call down legions of angels you know but that shows you how much more of a strong person a strong minded man that he was and it is still, you know, he had the power, but he still, he had he had a mission to fulfill, you know. Uh, second scripture is Hebrews two six, but one in a certain place testified, saying, "What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visitest him?" Thou made him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels, for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he may, that he by the grace of the Most High should taste death for every man, yet yeah, every Israelite man, mainly the elect first. But yeah, everything is about Yahweh Shai. It's all about Yahweh Shai. He came on this earth to do a mission, and that was to, you know, shed his blood. For, for the remission of sin for his people, mainly the elect, you know. So we felt every nail, you know, every every strike, every whip, every scourge, all that that hell that he went through that night when he went up on the cross. Man, he felt every every bit of pain of that, you know. No man can suffer that to go through that other than Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the only man that can go through that, you know, and he did it. That scripture is uh, Matthew 26 and 51. And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh Shai stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Now the night that they came to get him, you know. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put up again thy sword unto his place. For they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Yeah, you yeah. That live by the sword, die by the sword, you know. So in, in these end times, man, when that time comes, man, you don't have to worry about, you know, stacking up on guns and all that. You gotta let faith be your guide. You know, you gotta let the spirit be your guide and have faith. Because you're not, you're not gonna outgun Esau. <laughs> you know, you can try to bang it out and blast it out with Esau, you, you're not gonna make it, man. The, the sword and the gun, that, that's his blessing. Our power is through the spirit. Our power is through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions, legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled? That thus it must be. You know, the scriptures had to be fulfilled. Prophecy had to pass, come to pass. You know. 
in that same hour said Yahweh Shai to the multitudes are ye come out as against a thief with swords and staffs for to take me I sat daily with you teaching in the temple and ye laid no hand ye slack and ye laid no hold on me but all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled then all the disciples forsook him and fled yeah all that time he was teaching nobody laid a hand on him nobody came to get him because he had to teach the word so when you're out there teaching the word I mean, you don't have to worry about you know, cops you know taking you out or whatever because the you know, prophecy has to be fulfilled I mean, yeah, it may happen to some as a test or whatever, but for the most part, you know, this word has to has to go out there. It has to go against, go towards the four corners of the earth, and we're seeing that now. So yeah, with that, you know, the Lord walked the earth as a man. He had spiritual power, but you know, he, he had he had to go up on that cross, man, for the elect's sake, whoever those men are, man. And those men, those elect men, they're going to get beamed up. And they're going to rule, rule the kingdom, you know. So with that, you'll show them all.